Hello everybody and welcome to episode 20 of Stoneblock. It is a world download episode, so we're gonna have a world download of this episode in the description, just be wary of that. <clears throat> I want to, anyway, thank you again for all of the lovely comments and all of the support. We're closing in on 5,000 subscribers and I know I said I was gonna do a Q&A at like 2,000 subscribers, so I don't have any sort of footage to put in the back of the Q&A. So if you have any ideas on what I want, what I should do for the Q&A or just like host it on stream or something and then post like cut, cuts of the questions that I asked, that I got asked on stream and stuff and into a video and that be a 5,000 video, I don't know. Or if you have any other, other ideas for a 5K subscriber special, let me know down in the comments and we're gonna see about it and do something special, hopefully. So for today, I wanna get into a quantum quarry because this has changed and I wanna play with it. Uh, it needs a magical snow globe and I don't know how difficult this is gonna be, but this basically requires me to go to the end, Sandy visit it. So if I go here, it should do the ocean, right? Yeah, ocean visited. Do we need the nether? Nether, mountain, magical, jungle, hills, forest. I don't know if the, um, if the mining dimension has different Biomes, we're gonna go check on that. But firstly, let's go to the nether, just so we get that out of the way. Nether is done, right? There we go. Oh, let's go back. It's gonna take only a short second. There we go, let's go to the end, because <clears throat> that's the thing that we need. I also cleaned up the, the way out of here in the end, and we can now just easily run up the steps here. The end should now be visited, right? There we go. I have uh, my my line of solar panels for my power. And home, there we go, okay. I don't think I have any other biomes here other than Mesa and Ocean in my base at least. So let's go to the mining dimension and see if there's different biomes. There should be, I think. <clears throat> so we can then just, oh, it just says mining biome. Plains visited, it said. So it's just mining biome, right? Okay, so we either have to make RF tools dimensions for different biomes, or do you know what we can do? We can dig up to the top, and then we can just fly above world limit and get into the different biomes. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, let me make, can we just put a travel anchor up there? Will that reach with my staff of traveling? We'll see, travel anchor. So I need one of you and I don't have the pulsating crystal like that. Okay, so let me dig up to the ceiling. I'm just gonna go probably right, right here. Uh, there's gonna be some lava, so I'm gonna have the stone ready to block it off and I probably should be fine. So let me dig up to the ceiling and we're gonna see uh, if we can find all the biomes. Okay, I just hit the lava, it's right above this block, so what we're gonna do is just gonna fly through it, and then I can place a block, or I can't. Um, let me grab uh, buckets. Bucket. Do I have a, is there like a void bucket? Um, I mean, I know there's the, this guy, but we don't have a lamentium. Is there a bucket? There's an infinity water bucket. We could just pour water in your bucket. That's works like a monster's block. Okay, reinforced under bucket. It can hold ten buckets of liquid. Okay. Um. Can we just do this? Water. Oops. Where's my where's my hole? Okay, first of all, let's do slash home. I'm I'm moving because I'm hurt by lava. Okay, slash home. And then I'm gonna fly back up again. I think the lava might be flowing down to my base. I think it is. Um, at least it should be flowing down if it acts like normal lava. Yep, it is flowing down. Oh, so <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while. Actually, uh, let's grab, oh, hello, stop it. There you go, okay. Let me grab, uh, do I have, 
Can I make the fire charm? Okay. Fire protection while carrying. And the repair tablet should repair it, right? So if we just fly through. Okay, so let's do this and then that. And now we can place a block. Okay, we did it. We done did it. You know what, You have I have flames in my face, but that's okay. So if we now break these, we should have oh, an entryway. And we can just pour, is this even gonna flow down? It is flowing down, okay. Okay, so that that's gonna dissipate in a in a moment, but now we can probably just fly around here, and see if we can find some other biomes. I know it's gonna load all of the different chunks, but it's only gonna be stone. There's Mesa Plateau, <clears throat> so let me see if we can just find one biome. I'm just gonna go in one Miss Mesa Bryce. I just hit the Mesa, <laughs> a huge Mesa apparently. Is it going to be anything else than Mesa? Normal Mesa? Beach. Ocean, sandy, mountain, magical. I don't know what magical is. But I'm just going to go in one direction and see if I can find all of the biomes. I apparently just found a forest biome and now it's a magical snow globe. It says that an entire world contained within a small glass globe. Perhaps your universe is not so different. The snow globe has gathered enough information about our world, so it's now active. I'm sorry about that noise, that was my phone. I need to turn it off. <laughs> Excusez-moi. Okay, let me go back home and we can craft the things. I can't use that for another minute and... Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for that then. <laughs> we're ready to craft the quantum quarry, so we're gonna grab that, and then we need six of these, and I made the appropriate amount of pickaxes that we need, so that is nice. And then I think... Let's see, uh, does it still require, if I grab just some blocks, because this requires a weird placement, you need to place this first, and you can only place these, you can't place them on the floor, you can only place them against the quarry, so the bottom one is always the problematic one to place, but this requires still an, it can do enchanted books, and a biome marker, and I hope it's fixed, that it does the whole biome things that we need, so let's grab a, um, Let's go here, actually, because we have all of the enchanted books, and we can just search together. Uh, we're going to need an efficiency and silk touch, so let's do uh, double tap this and do efficiency, and then look into here. Efficiency 1, efficiency 3, efficiency 5, okay, and then silk touch, okay, and I don't think anything else works in the thing, so that is nice, wonderful. And we can then go combine these two books over here by our anvil. So this, that's the void anvil. That's the powered repair anvil. So we can do that. Okay. And then if we do this and also grab a biomarker, biomarker. It requires, okay, just purple stuff. Uh, and we're in the Mesa, which is kind of actually what I want because the Mesa in 112 has more gold. So we're gonna get a bunch more gold in the Mesa. So that should be good. And then if the pre if present, the quarry will destroy any items that do not match the filter. So you can put items on the filter that you wanna keep. But for example, if we just grab a crate for the time being uh, and put you here and then grab a flux point, flux point like so, and attach this to here, it should start mining and we get all of the stuff and it's pretty damn fast, and it does silk touch, which is really nice. And you can see we, we kind of have like more gold than we have iron, because Mesa, <laughs> so that's really cool. It does work, so that's nice. We're gonna get grass, dirt, all the, all the different things. So what we can actually do is just, we could set this up here, but generally I found that quantum quarries do quite a bit of lag because of the, because of the amount of like operations that they do. Um, yeah, we can just uh, toss this in a 
in a different dimension, or we could put it in a, you know what we could do? We can make a, one of those combat machines and just toss it in there. Yeah, let's, let's do that. This is gonna just fill up this two crates with, or this two pages, which is fine. So let me make everything we need for the quantum or for the compact machine. So if we do add compact machines, I believe we need these, which require my, one of these. I think I need two of those, one for myself and one for making this. And then <clears throat> you place these on a diff on a certain pedestal. So let's grab some stone uh, and let's put you, so we have enough space just here, I think. We can do missing opposite field projector. There it goes. It shows you where you can place it for the different things that you need. Uh, also, I didn't mention, but I took down the smeltery because we didn't really need it anymore. Uh, can you place properly? No. Maybe like this? No. Can I rotate you with a wrench? I can. Wonderful. Okay. And then the last one. Up on here. Okay. Invalid block and field area. <clears throat> yes, of course. That is an invalid block. So that, let's move it out of the way. Do we have, oh, ha, uh, yeah. We have uh, grass over here. So let me put this probably, uh, let's just clean it up in a second. Let's put this probably in here and up in the, up in the sky. So let me set it up and we can make some compact machines. So I saw system collapse do this. So I believe you place a, um, an iron block with a redstone on top and then you toss a redstone here and it should miniaturize it. And basically this is gonna make a nine by nine machine and the crafting process is really cool. So we do that and then toss one of redstone in. Is that the case? Do I right click redstone? Because it's in JEI, it says uh, we need the, for example, we're making the large compact machine. We need the compact machine wall. So we need multi-block miniaturization. It says one by two by one. Throw this into the miniaturization field to start a crafting process. Use this to build the multi-block. Because we have, we can't just toss it here, right? No. Um, so that is should be in the field, right? So if we do that and that, oops. Don't know how this works. Does this require power? No recipe for compact machine wall. Oh, something happened. There it is. Okay, so this worked. I don't know if it's it was the problem with Ah, now, now it's working. Okay, so let me craft a bunch of these so we can make a compact machine. For the 9 by 9 machine, we need to build a 5x5 block with a hollow center and then toss an enderpearl. No. Do I have to build it in the center of this? So does it need to be like two blocks more up? So if we take two layers off, maybe then it would work. Oh no, I, I put this in here. Wait, hold up needs to have a three by three hollow center and then it should work hopefully. So if I fill that, this in again and we toss in an ender pearl. Oh, possibly we toss it into here. Oh, there it goes. Soon it's thing, it's miniaturizing it for me. And this personal shrinking device is gonna allow me to enter the storage or the compact machine, not the storage. But like this crafting process, again, it's really cool as well. Uh, and we, you could also make bigger compact machines. I just don't have enough room in here to do this. <clears throat> Should poop out a block. There you go. Large compact machine. Now, if I place this down, and I, uh, I believe you just right click on it. Yep. That it teleports you to the dimension. Hello. Anytime now. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, okay. It needed to load it. So we can do, I think there's a entry point. Yeah, you set your entry point. So we're going to enter in this corner 
And then we can place, let's say we place a block in the middle uh, and then place another block on top. Uh, let's see, we have a nine by nine, right? So let's put this in the center, why not? So that's four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that would be the center. So we can then tear this down and tear this down and then place the quantum quarry blocky bits like that. Uh, give you the book, give you the biomarker. And we don't really need to void anything, to be honest, because we can just store everything in drawers that we get. Uh, we're gonna need an ender chest. Can I access this ender chest? Okay. Um, and I don't know if this is gonna be faster than what we can import or export. Um, but like ores and stuff, we wanna process automatically. So we can either insert them into the system or just extract out of the ender chest directly. Um, but I think Android conduits might not be, uh, might not do the trick here. Uh, so let me just clean up my inventory just the, the slightest. Um, and this is just on the white, white, white. Uh, so let's let's do this. Let's break this. Um, and I'll also empty this and just put everything in here that isn't ores. Okay, and let's give you a, because the green one we're already using, we're already using the lime, I think. So let's do uh, something that I definitely know I'm not using. Let's do green and lime in the middle for now. Okay. And we're gonna add you here. You can do your thing. And then I, how do I get out from this? Oh, you just right click this, okay. So if the compact machine is loaded, then the, Oh, I misclicked. Uh, so let's get out. <laughs> Excuse them off for all the loading, but I don't know if, can I break this? And will the quarry still run? Okay, so I don't even need to go there. Just the quarry runs. I don't even have to have it placed down. That's so weird. It feels so weird. Okay, so uh, let me... Now let me see how I want to sort this out because we can we can go here and just say we because we have most of the things in the drawers here, right? So let's grab some speed upgrades for the conduits and let's do this and say extract always active and speed upgrades, right? So that should clear out all the stone. The compact machine isn't running anymore, apparently. It like, looks like it might have unloaded it. Oh, no, now it works. Okay, now it works. And I think you can also extract out of the compact machine directly with something. I don't know how, how it works though, but people can tell me in the comments, I think. So we can put, let's say, granite, andesite, limestone, diorite. We can put all of those into the drawer. So if we do an unlock, uh, let's do granite, andesite, diorite, uh, limestone. Because we have the basalt that we do. So if we look into here, yeah, you can see this isn't really keeping up. And what if I like reduce the upgrades to eight? Nope, still not keeping up. <laughs> uh, so let's do the 15 upgrades. Okay, it's just moving too fast for this to even comprehend it. Um, and the translocators didn't really work well in as far as I recall. So we need a, either a faster way of transferring things, which could be like a transfer node, uh, or we could just void the stone, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let me get a filter for what we're gonna need from this. So I'm gonna basically have a look through this chest and see it running and then see if I can filter out the stone and stuff like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have everything filtered. I decided to filter out the ores here and I say why don't we just set up an ore processing system in this chamber here and we can put the quantum quarry on one side or maybe in the corner so it takes the least amount of space. So we're just gonna take you down for the moment and it's gonna grab us all the things, which is fine. And all the ores that I have here in the drawers, we're not really gonna store in the drawers, to be honest. I don't think at least we need to, because we could 
set, we can set up a system where it processes ores faster than we get them. So we should be good on that. And if I grab just some blocks, that is totally how you spell stone. So let's just do that. And can I can I place this underneath somehow? Possibly not. Uh, I mean, I can probably do this and that and then break this and then put that there. Is that gonna be recognized as a quarry? No, because that one isn't facing the right way. Okay, so we can only place it up here, I think. Because like that that's like that's just so stupid why he's I mean I know that they connect to the quarry and all that and it's set because of that, but you know, it's still kind of stupid a little bit. So uh let's give you the filter. I just what I did basically, I blacklisted anything that I don't want because it says that it's uh it's gonna destroy anything that does not match the filter. And if I blacklist things, it's just gonna void everything that is blacklisted. And because it's the Mesa, we don't get any random weird stuff. So right now it's going to start filling up with uh, with all of the ores. And let's just um, do this redstone on, I'll give you power back there. And the we can just we could either just extract directly out of the quarry, but I think it's fine if we have an ender chest somewhere over here, uh, possibly down here, and we can just extract out of the ender chest. And I think we can use I don't know if I want to go really in getting all of the capacitors and stuff, but we can just use sag mills and alloy smelters to be honest, or actually let's just use pulverizers or sag mills or something in uh, one of two. Oh no, actually huh. let's try and do mechanism and do the whole five times of the ore things. So let's grab this and we're going to put you over here and we're going to say, extract always active with the 15 upgrades and then insert and we can then grab all of these drawers with my moving wand and just place them uh, i'll have to rotate them in a moment but i'll just move every drawer over here on this wall and then we can go into mechanism and see about get setting some of the machines up for mechanism and getting those ready for trying to get the like five times or processing thing because i haven't done that before and i want to try it Okay, to put a disclaimer out, we're not going to get in this episode to having five times the ore processing. So we're just going to do more mechanism stuff that we need to get done in preparation of getting the five times ore processing. And doing the ore processing, I think, could be okay here. I don't think we're going to have that much FPS problems. I mean, we're dropping FPS right over there. Well, look at there. But if I look away... It's 160 FPS, 200 FPS. So we don't have a problem. I just don't understand really what is making my frames drop over there for 20. It could be the chickens and we can try and make a, a giant compact machine and put in all the chickens in there. So we can, we can do that and then we can repurpose this room for, let's say doing this, the mechanism stuff. And we would just need to make the room a bit better and make it possibly even numbered in, or odd numbered instead of even. Do I have my, is my tape in here? Oh no, it's on me. So if I take this and not do something that I can't see, like silver will do. So the length of this is 22. Yeah, so we need to increase it by like one block on one side or something or just cover up one side. Yeah, let's try that. Let me get a, before I explain all of these, let me get the chickens into a compact machine and we're gonna possibly do the mechanism things next episode, but I need to make this room bigger. So I'm gonna need more TNT to blow this up so we can set up a bigger compact machine so we can get the 13 by 13, I believe it's the biggest compact machine. 11 by 11, 13 by 13, yeah. So I need, a bunch more space for this and then I'm gonna need to craft a bunch more blocks and all that and we should be good on that. So let me get this blown up a bit or dug up or something and we should be good. All of the chickens have been moved to the compact machine and you can see my FPS is now fine if I look this way but it wasn't the chickens because I removed also the drawers that I had the chickens in them. So that was causing the FPS drops for some reason and I don't know why because all of my other drawers, if I have these unlocked and look at them, I still get 60 FPS. And then if I lock them, I get 80 FPS. So like 20 more FPS 
for having the drawers locked. And if I do this, it's even better. Those are locked, those are locked, or concealed even. And even if I concealed the chicken drawers, that was still causing a problem. But right now, it's not causing a problem. So in all in all, in all I could put, move the chickens back, but we're gonna repurpose this room and use it for a uh, mechanism. So we're gonna possibly change it into more like a factory style room, even though it already looks kind of like a factory style room. But in here, I kind of made it similar and uh, we have the chickens. Uh, if I grab some more treated wood so I can cover uh, this up in the back. Actually, we're not extracting the nether warts right now, which we don't really need that much. So I'm gonna leave those just be. Uh, but I have eight tall instead of a four by four because of the limits on the size of this room. So I just wanted to still have uh, them grouped up in eight and we have all of those and those two are still the ones that are empty. Uh, here we're missing one of the, might be one of the alloys. If not, we're just gonna toss something random in there uh, that goes into the drawers, but we're still needing the terra steel, the manulin and stuff like that that's being bred. If we look at roost, I've gotten up to here, the terra steel is the last one that I got to. So we still need plutonium, draconium, elementium, iridium, night slime, lunar reactive dust, stone burnt, awakened draconium, mana infused, moonstone, and demon metal. Uh, so I think we could toss like draconium or awakened draconium into some of these and stuff like that, but we're, we're gonna get there when we get there. So we've solved our FPS problems and hopefully we, we won't have troubles on Steam or on Steam, on stream, that's what I mean. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let me see how much time we have left in the episode and we're gonna see what else we can do. Okay, since we're closing on to the end of the episode, I just wanna explain what these mechanism machines do that I made. I have the, I think the top tier of the machines, the Elite Enriching Factory and the Elite Infusing Factory. And if you look at mechanism, I don't think they have them in order, but if we look at, for example, infuse, you have the metallurgic infuser, which is the first step. Then you upgrade that to the basic infusing factory, which you need either the IC2 or the mechanisms control circuits, which is osmium and redstone uh, in a metallurgic infuser itself, and which is the this basically. So what you can do is if we grab some redstone, I have the compressed version, which you toss redstone into this elite enriching factory by like so. You toss that in here, you can have it on auto sort and then it'll process everything. And also this is upgraded with all of the things. Muffling makes it quiet, speed makes it faster, energy makes it uh, energy efficient, which is really nice. So that makes the compressed redstone. And then you take osmium, and we're just gonna make a bunch of this. I'm just gonna toss a stack of these and then osmium inside. It'll auto split it around and make the basic control circuit. So we just need uh, enough osmium to fill that up constantly just so it, it empties the redstone. That's how I've just been making these things, basically just emptying it out and putting it in the storage system. So we need the redstone to make the enriched alloys and also these basic control circuits. So we're gonna need one machine to make like the compressed redstone and it's gonna go to the correct corresponding machines making the basic control circuits. And then this uh, reinforced alloy is made by enriching, uh, or is it enriching? Is it infusing enriched alloy with diamonds? So if you look at the recipe for this or the uses for this even, uh, you can see diamond dust or the compressed diamond, which is diamonds in a elite enriching factory uh, makes the reinforced alloy and then the reinforced alloy can be turned into atomic alloy and I made like a ton of it. Uh, we have like 512 of atomic alloy and I don't think we're ever gonna need to make more of it because uh, the recipes that require atomic alloy, uh, if we go to add mechanism, the atomic alloy is only used for making the top tier cables which I don't think we're ever even gonna need. Even though they have universal cables which can transfer RF, Oh yeah, they just transferred three different types of RF. I don't think they transfer items as well. And then some tier installer, which I don't know what it's for. Teleportation core, which you don't need. The Robit or the digital miner, which we don't need. Quantum metagloporter, which is kind of like a tesseract. We are gonna need it for the chemical crystallizer and the chemical dissolution chamber for making the five times ore processing system. Uh, so we need it for that. And I think we have plenty for the amount of machines that we're gonna need. And then just basic tanks and stuff like that is what it's used for. So we're good on basically 
making <laughs> enough of that so we don't have a problem. So this has drained everything out. We can just then toss all of these items inside of the system. And yeah, that's kind of the mechanism thing. So with that, we're gonna bring mechanism back next episode and I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out what we need to do in between episodes. I'm not, don't think I'm gonna do it on stream because that would be progressing on stream and I don't really wanna do that. I will just probably maybe on stream craft all of the machines that we need because that's just tedious crafting. So maybe do that and Later, we can then in the next episode come up with a system of making five times ore processing in the compact machine. And I might even make another giant compact machine just so we have a bit more space inside because we have the nine by nine currently for the uh, for the ore miner thingy, which is, if I can get to it, it is, do I have it in here still? No, I put it, I put it here. Uh, but I don't know if I turned it on and off or on or off. I haven't even shown you this. I changed the drawers for a two by two drawer system. And this is, we can just say always on just to, just so it's gonna make us ores while we wait. And they're all upgraded. So I think they shouldn't fill up cause it's 128, 100, not a hundred, 1,280 stacks of these. So with that, I want to finish off this episode and I want to thank you all for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to see new videos. Try supporting me on Patreon if you want to do a little bit more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.